Using MEMS technology, NTT Basic Research Laboratories has fabricated the world's first device for controlling the flow of phonons. A phonon is the particle of thermal or acoustic vibration traveling through an object. In the same way that electrons, spin, and photons are the particles of electricity, magnetism, and light, Phonons are the particles of heat and sound. This is the structure that we devised for controlling the flow of phonons. It is a drum-like structure having a diameter of 30 micrometers and is fabricated with gallium arsenide based materials. The film portion vibrates up and down much like a drum. Arranging 100 of these structures in a one-dimensional array with a mutual offset of 10 micrometers forms a phononic crystal waveguide. A vibration generated on one end causes phonons to propagate along the waveguide. We observe that phonons that reach the other side will reflect back into the waveguide. We also measured the relationship between phonon frequency and propagation speed. It was found that a phononic band gap exists in which phonons cannot propagate, and that this band gap depends on the periodic structure of the phononic crystal waveguide. We also observed a slow phonon effect, in which the phonon speed approaches zero near this band gap. Making use of these phenomena, we can adjust the flow of phonons using the periodic structure of the waveguide. Next, we place the control MEMS resonator at the center of the waveguide. A phonon vibrating at the frequency F0 will normally propagate right through this resonator. However, if we make the resonator vibrate at its natural frequency of F1, the phonon of frequency F0 is unable to propagate through the resonator. In other words, this resonator can be used as a phonon gate. Furthermore, if we make the resonator vibrate at the frequency of F2, which is equal to the difference between frequency F0 and F1, we found that energy will be transferred from the phonon to the resonator. This phenomenon can be used to temporarily store a phonon in the resonator. In the past, phonons have not been widely used in information processing. We can now expect the phononic crystal waveguide to open up a bright new field called phonomics.